Okay, a short video on chips and dealing with them, the hazards, and what to do about it. So we have a number two Cincinnati vertical milling machine, a sweet old machine, five axis. The head is one of the axis. Did I say five? It's four axis. Um, and we've got a Karuda, I think that's made in Japan, boring head. It's kind of a copy of the Nurex somewhat. And we got kind of an extension that we made, rigid extension. Uh, so we're taking about an eighth of an inch per side, so a quarter inch off the diameter to uh, bring it close. And then we'll finish pouring it for a fit on some pin bosses that are going to be welded in there. So with just a re regular brazed on cutter with no chip breaker, we have a bird's nest of heavy chips that... They're not brittle, they don't break easily. They have to be pulled out and cut and they resist that. And so that's a time, time taker on your job. You know, you have to consider the chips as being something that uh, is part of uh, efficiency if you can have them removed and not have to uh, do the kind of thing like we have before us where you have to get in here with a pair of big cutters, grab a hold of the chips, pull them out of the way. As you can see, they don't want to easily come loose. So I'm going to make a video next uh, showing the aftermath, I guess you might say, of a cut with a chip breaker that I'll hand grind in on a brazed-on cutter.